Hey everybody, welcome to Color It Live. This is where we talk about all things Color It and where we show off how you free your creativity each and every day. I'm Nyla, I'm back. Um, still wearing my sling, but I am here and ready to share, ready to talk about Color It and all things that go with it. I would like to introduce my host for this evening, my co-host for this evening. This is my friend Amber. We have known each other since, since toddlers and we have been coloring since we were in our teenage, you know, late early teens. So we uh, spent a lot of time in front of the TV coloring and have never have never stopped coloring. So she is going to be my right hand um, to color for me tonight. And uh, so everybody give Amber a warm welcome. I'm giving Jeremiah the night off. He um, has started orchestra. So tonight was like his third night in orchestra. So he has some orchestra to practice. He's going to do the viola or viola. I can't, I don't know how to say it. You know, however you want to say it. So, but anyway, thank you. I want to thank everyone. I got so many messages asking how I was doing, making sure I was doing okay. And I want to thank everybody for caring and for showing that they missed me. I missed you guys too. I wanted to be on, but this has become a little bit more than I thought it was. I honestly, I thought, you know, I've had surgeries before. What's one more, right? This has been totally different. I don't, I don't know why, but it's just, it's been kind of a struggle, but I made it here tonight and that is what is important. I'm going to send see, and we got Nancy today is with us. I am doing better, Nancy. Dana, Vivian shared already. Thank you. So did Renee. Stephanie, hi, how are you? I am a little better. We got Rhonda, Angel's here. We have Kathy, Barbara. Barbara's from Ohio. We're from Missouri. We got Lynette. We got Garyman, Gary Ann, sorry. Kathy, Lori, all kinds of people. There's Anita. We got Vicki, Laura, Rosa's here. Glad you found us. Hi, Chris. Hi, Nancy. Eloise. All right, so I could go on and on. Hi, Diana. We are live. Mary's here. Adam's here. He's shared. I love seeing color studs. Thank you for showing up, Adam. Love it. Jennifer Baker, I missed you too. I love my Batman bear, Jennifer. Very cool. I love it. I think Amber's going to try to steal it. <laughs> Might have to knock her out. No. So lots of people saying hi to Amber. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to squeeze here together because we don't want you to see the name behind us, but we do have a new colorist of the month. So we are going to announce that later. Hi, Jean Duvall. Dana is from Brooklyn. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Miracle is here. And is I'm hopefully, is Faith with you? Faith Campbell is Miracle's daughter. She's new to color it. So we're going to start seeing stuff from Faith soon in the group. So that'll be fun. Always like new members. So, all right, let's talk about um, the giveaway tonight. The giveaway is the book that we're going to be coloring out of. It's Cats, Kittens, and Wildcats. So, if you want to win, all you got to do is share. Share to your family and friends on Messenger. You can share in your groups. Um, we are going to be, Amber is new to Color It, um, the Color It products. Um, she has a book and pencils that she's been working with, so we're going to get her feedback on that, and then she's going to be using um, the gel pens tonight, so we'll get to see what she thinks about those as well. So if you know anybody that is um, never tried Color It or kind of on the fence, tell them to tune into this episode because we have a first timer here, <laughs> and so this would be a perfect time for them to hear an unbiased, unsolicited I'm not paying her for this, so um, totally unbiased uh, opinion of Color It. So we are going to see what she thinks, and she's a longtime colorer, 
so that's important you know she's colored since you know childhood so I definitely uh, respect her opinion so if you have anybody that um, is new or hasn't tried it tell them to watch this show so share share and when you do um, you will be entered into the contest for tonight which is cats kittens and wild cats um, I only have one book and that's what we're coloring out of so I'm, I don't have it to show and I only have one hand so that makes it hard too but anyway, um, make sure that your uh, Facebook profile is set to public so that um, Color It will get the notifications that you have shared. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm already running out of air. So I need to switch to your guys' submissions. And we got the Freebie Friday coming up first. We're going to wait to see if that transitions over. Hello, Marie, Crystal, Barbara. <coughs> Barbara doesn't have this book, so she'd like to win. Hint, hint. Vivian doesn't have it either. Vivian wants it. Hi, Kristen. All right, so our first picture for tonight uh, from the Freebie Fridays from the last couple of weeks. We have Eva Dordell, and again, this is from Mythical Fantasy. It was a freebie Friday. We have a very beautiful mermaid sunning herself there on a rock. Uh, of course, first thing Amber and I noticed is the purples in her hair. I also like that you got a little bit of blue in there. That's very pretty. And I like how you did her, uh, her tail and her fin with the different browns and kind of golds very um sea kind of like a sea color i like that um a lot of variety there and then i like how you highlighted your clouds there on the top makes them stand out from the white of the the sky so good job everyone's saying no pick okay i am uh you're right you guys need a pick to look at don't you whoops all right Okay, so I'm going to have to start over, Eva. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for you guys for telling me that, that there's no picture. I am um, not 100%, so I'm going to need your guys's. And I know you guys will bear with me because you always do. You're so forgiving of my inadequacies. And tonight, I'm going to probably have quite a few because I've been on some good pain medication. So, anyway. Eva, like I was saying, beautiful picture here of your um, your mermaid. Love the different colors in her hair. Love the, the greens and the browns and golds of her tail and fin. Hopefully everybody's seeing a picture. Eddie says, there you go. So we're good, Amber. Yay. Yay, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, you guys, I almost canceled tonight. I almost did, really. Ah. Uh, but again, I have beautiful mermaid. I like how you highlighted the the the, uh, the clouds. Um, makes it stand out from that uh, that back that background. So the sound keeps breaking up. Let me know if that's a problem with everybody. Um, if it's only one person or two, um, try to refresh your page, and maybe that might help. But um, can everybody else um, hear me? Okay. Diana sees it. So, excellent job, Eva, and thank you for sending that out. We love you too. I love you too, Jennifer Dolstrom. She's always checking on me too. I love seeing your plants and your peppers and things that you put in your salad. Makes me want to go and eat a salad. I should probably eat more salads. All right, next we have Jean Hunter Brown, and this uh, was a freebie Friday from Blissful Scenes. Uh, we have gorgeous, uh, four beautiful peacocks here, and um, each one of them is unique. The one there at the, the, the white there in front is bold and gorgeous, Jean. I love the, the, that bright green and that bright yellow against the, the dark blue and the light blue. Looks really, really good. Um, just, that just really stands out, just very elegant. 
um, definitely uh, shows what a peacock is. They, they are so beautiful in real life, and you have shown that in the picture. And then I like how you kind of used, you, you freed your creativity with the other three peacocks. I like the, the uh, gray and the red of the other male behind it. I think that's unique. I like that. And then the two females, one's got like pinks and oranges and the other one's got greens and browns. So lots of color, lots of creativity. And uh, just did a really good job there, Jean. So thank you for sending that in. All right. Next we have Katherine Harris. And this is from Mythical and Fantasy. This is the Freebie Friday. Um, love how you did her hair. Um, all the different colors there um, makes it look like our natural hair. Um, everyone, if you look close at their hair, it's not just one color. There's actually multiple colors in it. And she definitely has seen her hairdresser recently because her <laughs> highlights are spot on, Catherine. So excellent job. I love her hair. That was just gorgeous. Um, I also like how you did the, the ocean. I told Amber earlier, it actually looks like there's movement in the picture. So that is really cool how you did that. And then uh, I know when Amber was looking at it, she liked how you did the scales of her fin. You made it, the way that you shaded it and outlined it, made it look textured like her scales would be. So excellent job there, Catherine. So, but really definitely like those highlights. Her hairdresser needs to... Uh, needs a better tip because she did a great job. All right. And why aren't you? Okay. Next we have Kelly Gordon, Mythical and Fantasy again. And it looks like that a storm is passing and the sky is opening up onto this beautiful mermaid. It's like she appeared and the storm went away. So that's kind of what I thought of when we... Amber and I was looking at this picture like a storm maybe was rolling away and she either helped it or she came out when it afterwards so beautiful mermaid I love her reddish brown hair I think that's really pretty it's kind of aerial but then you know not as bold as aerial so I kind of like that look and then the turquoise and the purple of the fin <coughs> you know I think I know why I'm coughing because I haven't hardly spoken in two weeks so I think um, my voice is like, what the heck? Um, <clears throat> what are you thinking? I have literally done hardly anything the last two weeks, people. I just, I've kind of just dropped off the face of the planet. It was just been like that. But anyway, Kelly, I love your uh, mermaid. I love how you, um, even in the seagull with the details on the wings, got those black tips showing that it's a seagull. So that's cool. Excellent job, Kelly. Thank you for submitting that. And everyone is given lots of hearts and thumbs up. Jean Duvall says, thank you, Amber, for being there with Nyla. Friends are very helpful, yes. <laughs> Amber is a CNA and she has helped me a lot. Uh, she gave me this ice machine that you put ice in it. And it anyway, she's been very helpful. So, <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Jean Duvall, for for pointing that out. That's definitely something I wanted to, to say. All right, so now we have Alinda Dan Daniels, and we're back to our peacocks. And even though, I always say this, even though it's the same picture, everyone puts their own little spin to it. And that's what Linda has done here. We got four beautiful peacocks. And this is what Amber pointed out. They all have the same color palette, but if you look closely, they're all done differently. Like the one in front has the dark blue neck. Then we have a light green neck, then a dark green neck, and then another light blue neck. So the way that you did it, I mean, yes, you used the same color palette, but you did each bird different. So they're very unique, and that is awesome. I like that. Great way to free your creativity with just this, even using the same color palette. So they're very beautiful, very majestic looking. Um, love the grays and the oranges on the flowers. Everything just looks really good. So thank you, Linda, for sending that in. Very unique. I like that. All right, we got more peacocks. These are from Stephanie Moyer. 
blissful scenes. We have um, the, the peacock there in the front with the blues and the greens, very pretty. I like how you, uh, you switched up the tail feathers instead of them all being blue with the main color, you switched up and you put some green ones in there. That's a neat detail. I like your, um, of course, purple and pink one there at the bottom because anything purple is going to jump out at me. So that was really good. Shirley Smith is tuning in tonight from Ohio. Awesome. Nice to have you, Shirley. Um, Stephanie, I like uh, the other male peacock there on the limb. Uh, it's got a little bit of like reds with it which I think is unique. And then you got the one in the background, which is all blues, but it's very soft looking. So, and then those orange and blue, orange and yellow flowers throughout the page really goes well with the, the rest of the picture. So excellent job, Stephanie. Loving these peacocks, guys. You guys do such good work. All right, we uh, have our first winner. So let's come back to, whoops, oh no. All right, well, that's our picture that we're gonna be seeing. All right, I am all thumbs tonight, guys. All right, so back to us. We're gonna talk about Kathy's picture in a little bit because I kind of accidentally clicked the button twice. So we have our first winner and it is the book that we're coloring from tonight. Cats, Kittens, and Wildcats. So, our first winner for tonight, lovely Amber is displaying the picture. There, thank you very much. First winner is Laura Bragdon Mills. Laura Bragdon Mills, you are our first winner on Color It Live. Congratulations. Send an email to support at colorit.com with your address and phone number and let them know that you are a winner on Color It Live. And like I said, make sure you include your address and phone number so that they can get you the right book. So congratulations on that. So we are going back to our random submissions like I gave a sneak preview. Okay, give it a little time to transition. So, all right. With this is Kathy Bartosik, Bartosik, and this is her Fine Line Flowers Journal. And I asked um, you guys to send, you know, because you know a lot of people won the journals last month, and I wanted to see you guys how you colored it. And Kathy uh, did that for me. She sent that in. I don't know if she did it for me, but I'm I asked, and here it is. So. Uh, appreciate Kathy sending this in. This is her Fine Line Flowers journal. Beautiful job here with the, the light colors of yellow and red and orange and then that pretty color of green. So definitely a pretty journal that you would be proud to show off. I am curious, Kathy, um, do you journal? If you're, you're on tonight, um, do you journal? Um, or do you use your journal for other things like me? I um, put my color palette in it. So kind of curious. Um, do you like to journal? Some people do. I've tried it many times. Never could follow up. Kathy said she did it for me. Thank you, Kathy. She did it for me. I feel loved, Amber. You are. I am loved. <laughs> I love my color at friends and family. <laughs> So awesome job, Kathy. Thank you for sending that in. And please let me know in the comments, are you a journaler or do you use it for other things? So I am going to, after the show, make sure I look at everyone's comments to see if there are journalers out there or if you use it for other things. All right, Nancy's still working on hers. Well, when you get it done, I wanna see it. Okay, Leslie. I always mess up your name, Leslie, and you're on here all the time. I really needed to find out how to say your name. Uh, Krekovich, I'm gonna say it that way for tonight. Um, Leslie Krekovich, this is from Colors of the Ocean, and um, don't see the whole picture here, but I believe this is an anchor. Um, this is from Colors of the Ocean, beautiful blue. That was the first thing that me and Amber 
notice was this gorgeous deep blue and your ombre effect the way that you shaded it makes it look like it's been in the ocean for a while and um we know that you know it had to be in the ocean for a while because there's all this ocean life that's attached to it and your ocean life is just as pretty the the way you did that one i don't know if it's a shell it looks like a shell it has the different pinks and then it goes into the orange there in the middle and then you got those little plants kind of coming out the sides with the greens and the browns but all beautiful colors i like the purple and the yellow kind of there in the corner to the right um and i like the way that you shaded your leaves um they're dark in the inside and then they get lighter out so that's a really good technique um to bring life to a picture and you've done that really well in your picture so but leslie she always does a really good job very beautiful um just want to use this as an example i'm not for sure if this is uh, something on our side where we didn't uh, take the picture put the picture in there correctly for the slide or um, we, when you guys are taking your pictures um, try to imagine it on the our screen you want to make sure it's flat and you want to you know try to draw back and try to crop it as much as you can um, sometimes when we're the, putting the slides together sometimes some of the picture is missing and I'm sure it, the rest of the picture is just as beautiful as what I'm seeing here so um, but I'm pretty sure that there is more to this picture if not it's still a beautiful picture <laughs> so but anyway I just wanted to point out because some of the times uh, I see submissions where people you know have taken the picture and they're like curved or, or slanted make sure they're nice and straight um, and make sure that you know to, to crop it in a way that you want it shown here on the screen so Anyway, excellent job, Leslie. Thank you for sending that in. Love those blues. I just, it's gorgeous blue. All right, next we have Nancy Colvin from Blissful Scenes. And we see this picture quite a bit, but every picture is done differently. And Nancy has uh, done that for us today. I, this picture I, always kind of makes me laugh. That squirrel on that swing looks so happy <laughs> happy little squirrel swinging on the swing i would love to see that in real life i think that would be so cool <laughs> so but anyway this is a blissful scene here that you have colored for us nancy i like that you've done it in the colors of fall um with the, the golds and the oranges and the dark reds i like that a lot i love fall it's my favorite time of year so this definitely speaks to me i love your little yellow uh, I was, was gonna say ducks but they're not they're baby swans I love those those they, they stand out against those dark blues of the water and then me and Amber both liked your little green frog there on the <laughs> left sitting watching everything happen so uh, excellent job here Nancy this is um, from blissful scenes book and you created a very blissful scene here beautiful fall picture All right, next we have Sheila Branham, and this is from Traveling Doodles. And this is a kaleidoscope uh, of colors here. We've got all the colors from the rainbow, I think. And Sheila has put them to use beautifully in this picture, made the flower. If, have you guys ever had one of those little tubes, you know, and you turn it and it changes? This is what I thought of when I saw it, was one of those little tubes that you turn and it just magically creates all of these it's kaleidoscope yeah right? kaleidoscope yeah. of uh colors and this is what this made me think of when i saw it lots very of happy. beautiful pictures yeah very happy like amber said when you look at it it just it makes you smile so and that's what all art should make you make art should make you feel something and when i look at this i it makes me smile hey jonathan is here guys hey jonathan Glad you made it. All right, so Sheila, thank you for your kaleidoscope doodle here. It's very pretty. Love all of the colors. Very, very colorful, very bright. All right, next we have Suzette Howe, and this is from Wild Animals, and we have a beautiful uh, lion here. And when I saw this, I automatically thought of the Lion King. 
or just, you know, kind of in Africa, you know, when, when not Lion King the movie, but like Lion King the show. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it um, live, but it's very colorful. And um, a lot of times when they do create masks in Africa, they usually add lots of different varieties of colors. And that's what I thought of when I saw this picture. Those blue eyes really stood out to me and Amber. We were like, oh, we love those blue eyes. It's like, you just, those, you, you're drawn to them. So great job. And I like the way um, that you've shaded, like, especially around his mouth, you have like that little line of yellow giving it depth and texture. So that's awesome. And I like how you did his mane. You got the top with the different colors and then you got the orange and then he's got that little goatee that's blue <laughs> there. So a lot of creativeness in this picture, but it all goes really well. Um, you know, it's not the first thing, you know, I would think of to color a lion, but the way you did it is beautiful. So it's, it would definitely be something that I would, I would hang on my wall. And if I was decorating an, an African style, it would be, it would be the centerpiece. So excellent job there, Suzette. Very creative, very majestic lion. I love it. All right. We have our color it weekly theme challenge. So first, let me tell you about the greatest group on Facebook. I may be a little partial, but I love it. This group is called Color It Coloring Books. So if you do not belong to this group, as soon as this show is over, I want you to go and find this group. Put it in the little, you know, search, put Color It Coloring Books, and it'll take you to the best group on Facebook. Um, ask to join it. Once you join it, you will be, become part of a loving family. Um, as I said at the beginning of the show, I had all kinds of people messaging me, um, putting posts, you know, talking about how they missed me, how they were concerned for me. I'm telling you, when I say color it family, I, it is true. We are a family. We are a fun group, like Miracle said. We, you know, they're very helpful. If you have questions, there's always somebody there to answer. Um, if you need motivation, if you have a, a picture that you're looking at and you just don't know how to start, there's they have all kinds of inspiration for you in fact that is what amber did tonight when we sat down and we looked at the picture we're like she's like what am i going to do so i took her to the coloring group and showed her some pictures and she was inspired so join that group when you do you get to enter the weekly theme challenge and that is done by nicole each week she comes up with a different theme sometimes it's um, sandy beaches, sometimes it's drinks and food, always something different. She always comes up with something, something fun. And this week is flaming hot. How fun does that sound? So I'm excited to see these pictures. We're going to see some hot pictures tonight. And I'm going to challenge Amber to find the flame in each picture. So we're going to see if she can spot the flame. The first picture in tonight's challenges. Oh, by the way, um, Nicole, what you do is you uh, find a picture with a theme like today's is flaming hot. So it could be, you know, a fire or a candle. You find a picture in color it books with that and you enter it into the challenge. She assigns you a number and then at the end of the challenge, she draws from those numbers and those are the ones that we get to see here on Color It Live. So please, this is one of the things that I look for when I'm choosing a colorist of the month. One of the things I look for is, do you participate in the challenges? Because Nicole works really hard on coming up with those challenges. And you guys, I wanna see variety. I wanna see everybody putting their posts and putting their pictures up because I love to see all of your guys' work and I, I really want um, to see more people um, entering these challenges. So, Amber, do you see the flame? Flaming hot. I see a very warm oil lamp. Very good. She sees it. Yay, Amber. We'll give her a treat after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anita, um, you, have, as always, do such a good job. And I think we may have another winner. Let me look. 
Yes, we do. So we will have to talk about Anita's flaming hot picture in a little bit because we got to come back to us because we have another winner. So let me wait until the screen pops up. Whoops, I shouldn't have touched it. Don't touch it, Nyla. I do not have the greatest touch. All right, come on, Facebook. There we are. Hello, welcome back. All right, so we have our second winner for tonight. And remember, you are winning the cats, kittens, and wild cats as displayed by my lovely assistant here. Um, so the second winner for tonight is Laura Armstrong. That's the second Laura. Huh, that's cool. So congratulations, Laura Armstrong. You have just won this book here that we're going to be coloring out of tonight. So send an email to support at colorit.com with your address and your phone number. Let them know that you won on Color It Live with Nyla and Amber. So they'll get that sent right out to you. So we're going to go back to the weekly theme challenges. We were talking about flaming hot pictures. And Amber was able to find the flame there on the oil lamp. So Anita Scott, we this is from a Blissful Scenes. And this is a gorgeous country kitchen. Um, it's like you are transported to your grandma's ha house. And she just went to the local market of the town, you know, city market. And she has bought everything. So we got apples, we got juicy strawberries. I see some lemons in there. Nice cold thing of milk. We got butter, honey. And the way you've colored everything, just it's so warm and inviting. I mean, you, I, it just, it's, it's blissful, which is what the book is. And that's definitely what you've done. I like, um, I've never noticed this before on other pictures, but I like behind the honey, Looks like you have jelly beans. Oh. So I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know if I would have, you know, I never thought to color those jelly beans as jelly beans, but that is such a cool idea. We got jelly beans in the picture right behind the honey. Uh, they could be gumballs, I guess. They could be. I don't know. So, Anita, if you are with us, I believe you are. Um, are those jelly beans or are they gumballs or, you know, what inspired you with the different colors? But anyway, everything is very warm, very inviting, definitely a homey feel. I mean, you feel at home when you look at this picture. So great job, Anita. Thank you for joining the challenge and thank you for letting us see your work. All right, we got Brenda Green and this is from Mythical and Fantasy and we have a very pretty witch, which I know you guys are probably thinking it, she's green. But it's a very pretty green. Mm -hmm. And the way you colored it, Brenda, I really like it. With the yellow and the purple, it looks really, really good. She is a pretty witch and uh, did an excellent job. Do, do you see the, the flaming hot or the flames in this picture, Amber? I see some gorgeous fire under the pot. Yes. She is doing her brew and the way that you colored your your the fire with the different oranges and reds makes it look like actual fire so the amber was able to spot that immediately great job she, i wonder what she is brewing up what kind of concoction she's brewing up or is that dinner for tonight who knows you never you never know <laughs> so and then also i'm kind of curious is it a raven or a crow i think it's a raven but i like how you did the the body of the raven real dark black but then his wings are lighter black so that you can you can see that it's uh difficult and i've said this before on the program it's difficult to color in black i find it difficult to color in black i don't know if you guys do but sometimes when i start coloring in black the whole thing ends up being just a black blob but your crow is successfully colored black so crow or raven could be a raven somebody tell me <laughs> raven Oh, yes, Miracle said torch, too. You're right. She's got a torch there at the top. I did. We missed it. Good job. Fire was pretty. So, all right, let's see here. Okay, um, Color It wants to Leah in uh, Lorraine is helping me tonight. Um, and Lorraine says, can you please give a friendly reminder to everyone that contest eligibility for Color It winners is 12 months after the last win 
and please avoid using another Facebook account just to enter. <coughs> it reduces the chances for others who share the Color It Live session who haven't won a contest yet. Thank you. So yes, I know a year is a really, really long time to wait. I know I've been there, guys. I was doing this, you know, I was waiting, counting down the days. So I understand what it feels like to, to really want to win. But we like to give everybody a chance. And uh, it does take a year before you get to enter again. But please don't let that dampen uh, your spirit. Make sure you're still sending your, your colorings in because we really, really want to see them. So please um, continue to share. But remember that we do, we can only, you know, give a, someone a, a Winners can only be once a year. So, you know, we wish we could give, you know, out more prizes, but, you know, it, it's kind of the way the business goes. So, anyway, um, so excellent, beautiful witch here. I like the way you did the background. Um, it's, I don't know, it's it, the blues and the blacks, kind of and the browns. It's, it's hazy. It's like hazy, yeah. Amber says it's hazy. Speak up. Sorry. <laughs> And then I like the way you did the wood around it, like she's standing in a doorway maybe inside. And uh, I like the different colors in her brew. Yeah, I like that. That you, stands yeah, out. It makes the it doesn't. It's not just one glob of it brew. Like it's moving. Yeah, it's got motion to it. So, excellent job. How do you enter? We will talk about all the ways that you can win at the end of the show tonight. And I'm sure that either Leah or Lorraine will. And other people here in the Color It family will let you know how to win. All right. Next, we have Jean Duvall. And this is from A Colorful Christmas. And I was telling Amber, I like that this is not the traditional reds and greens, even though reds and greens are beautiful together. They are opposite on the color wheel. So, of course, they, they go well together. But I like that you colored this um, in the non-traditional colors of Christmas. And of course, I'm, this is, you know, kind of sound redundant, but do you see the flames? <laughs> oh yeah, I love her flames. I love the different colors going, it, they stand out beautifully. Yeah, the way you did your flame, did the red, the orange, the yellow, made it look like what a flame is. A flame is always constantly moving, and that's what the colors in your flames uh, portray. So great job. I also, I'm pretty sure... I see some sparkle, so mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you must have used some glitter. I love that. You, know, you guys know how I love sparkle, and of course, purple. <laughs> purple throughout the picture as all you know automatically made me a fan. I love how you did that rich, deep purple, and then on the inside you have that lighter purple. It goes really good with the gold around it. So beautiful picture, Jean. Um, thank you for sending that in, and I'm glad that you won the weekly challenge. All right, next we have Jolie Johnson, and this is from Colorful Dragons, and we have a beautiful pink dragon here. Lovely pink shades from dark to light. Really like how you shaded the dragon, gives it um, more texture in it, its scales, and then the wings look like they're soft and light. Like, you know, when he opens them, you can hear the wind rush. So uh, I, I, I really like the different colors of pink in there. And I like how you got the pinks throughout the picture. And normally I could I would point it with my pointer, but you have pinks here in the window. And then you have pinks outside in the roses. So it's kind of like a little theme that I, I, I really like. It goes really well together. So great job. And of course, Amber, do you see the flame? <laughs> yep, I see the candle. Yeah, some of these, you know, the the the, the hot, flaming hot um, theme stands out, and some of them you have to look a little closer. But with this one, you definitely see the flame and beautiful golden candle there. So awesome job, Jolie! Thank you for entering so that you could be on Color It Live. All right, next we have Mary Kate Moore, and this is the same picture. But as always, you guys have shown your creative sides and have done it differently. I, uh, this is something that Amber brought out. It's not what you would think a typical dragon would be colored, but this looks beautiful, Mary Kate. 
I the reds and the blacks and the oranges they they just go really well together. They demand attention. Yeah, it just you just and the way the way you you did the wings, it almost has like a a glimmer to it. So it's the the deep richness of the colors. I think just they go really well. And of course, you know, there's the same candle there, so we we know the flame. Another thing I wanted to point out that I thought was really, really cool, and I know other people have done this before too, but in the original picture, this book is blank. But in Mary Kate's picture, it has writing on it. And Mary Kate, you can either put it in chat or you can send it to me later. <coughs> but I don't know if this is a poem or not, but it says, light the fire and... Uh, light the fire and oh I thought I had this early and something your wings brave one keep on dreaming even if it breaks something but it looks like a very beautiful poem or limic or something so Mary Kate if you're on um, please uh, Please send me that. Um, you can just send me the message or you can put it here in chat if you want to. But I, that's very creative. So I, I really like that. Another thing that I noticed is the stained glass in the back with the blues and kind of the greens and blues and golds right here. That stained glass looks really pretty. And the way you did your rose here with the orange and yellow looks really pretty as well. So excellent job there, Mary Kate. Thank you for sending that in. Very unique perspective on um, on your uh, dragon there. So, excellent job. Thank you for sending that in. Hello, Carrie. Glad you made it today. Hey, Cheryl. All right, next we have Mary Richmond. This is from Colorful Seasons. We have a cat looking at, looking out at two cardinals. I think that cat wants to get a hold of those cardinals. What do you think? I'd say he's thinking lunch. Yep, I think so too. I think that even he, is that a tongue? I think on the window, like, <laughs> it looks like mm, it. he can taste those birds, right? So, the very colorful picture here, Mary. Do you see the flames, Amber? Yes, I like her candles. I like the blue. That's different, unique. Yep, and the blue matches the blue in the curtains. So that's a good way to tie those in. So. Um, and that, that yellow kitten looks like he is up to no good, but those cardinals are not worried one bit. They are out there just like doing their thing, being birds, not worrying about that cat in the, the window. So excellent job, Mary. Thank you for submitting that. You made us smile. All right. Next we have Miracle Dungleberger. I know she's here tonight. Hopefully Faith is with her as well, her daughter, who she has uh, uh, brought into Color It as part of our family. Hopefully we will see pictures from Faith soon. And we have a picture from Colorful Dragons. And I need to speed up, it's 8.43. <clears throat> All right, so um, we have a mirror here. And I love the way that um, you've done this mirror, Miracle. You have done it very differently than I've seen it in the past. I like that you have two colored, two different colored dragons. One's blue and then the one's kind of like an orangey color. And the way that you have shaded, you got soft blues and then you got a little bit of a darker. Um, definitely shows the texture of the dragons, so that's good. And of course you see the flame there in the middle and it's reflected in the glass of the mirror. So excellent job, Miracle. I can't wait to see if Faith has your talent for coloring as well. So thank you for sending that in. All right, next we have Robin Northrup. She was our colorist last month. She was our colorist of the month and we can see why. This here is from Colorful Dragons and we have a beautiful purple dragon and that happens to be both my favorite color and Amber's. So it's gorgeous. when we see that, we're like, ooh, automatically. So. You put purple in the picture, we're automatically, whoa. So beautiful purple <laughs> um, and different colors are purple. It's kind of the a lavender purple. We got like a lilac purple. And then you got those beautiful like blue green eyes there. Mm, yeah. So 
excellent job, Robin, as always. Um, I like how you put little squiggly lines in the book to make it look like there's writing in it. It's really cool. And the beautiful roses in the window and on the table. So awesome job, Robin. And congratulations on being our colorist last month. I'm sorry that we didn't have um, your four pictures. Uh, I, we didn't get to show that fourth picture. I think I missed the fourth one. I don't think I missed more than that. I think I just missed the fourth one, but, um, but hopefully, um, maybe I can post it and share it with the group. So, um, congratulations again on winning colors of the month. So excellent job. Next, we have a picture from Tropical Scenes, and this is from Sandy Waskow. And we have a tiki god here. Uh, and this picture was, uh, both me and Amber were like, whoa, great job here, Sandy. Very tropical. Love the purple flowers there at the front, light purple and then the darker purple. Um, Amber mentioned how she liked how you did the greenery and different colors of greens. You got light green, you got almost like a yellow green. It gives it a lot of texture, a lot of variety in the background so they don't all blend together. And the tiki got itself very uh very bright and colorful like they usually are painted um definitely if this jumped out out of the jungle you would definitely notice it um very pretty and Took me on vacation yep ma yeah exactly yeah makes us feel like we're on a tropical island so and i would ask if you see the flames but you can barely see them they look like they would be very pretty if we could see all of them. Yeah, because they, they are red and orange, So, um, but the two tiki torches, are, I'm sure, are flaming hot. <laughs> so, good job there, Sandy. I like how you did the tiki torches. They look the way that you colored them. They look like bamboo. They've got the different colors. Look like they're made of wood. So, um, just excellent technique all around um just a very pretty tropical picture it just it's very colorful and bright and like amber said took us on vacation when we saw it so thank you all right suzanne steiner colorful christmas first thing we both said was glitter mm -hmm. we see all kinds of sparkle up in here i mean there's sparkle everywhere you got it on the ribbon you got it on the candles we like how you did your uh, candles with the flames, the different colors. Um, I've said it before, when you do the different colors, it gives it movement and makes the, the, the picture come alive. And I'm sure this picture in real life is really, really sparkly because mm. this, the you, I'm telling you guys, if you don't have the glitter pens, if you don't have the glitter gel pens, you're missing out because it may not really show it on this picture, but in real life, this picture probably just sparkles with any bit of light. And Suzanne, you did a great job. Lots of pretty colors. I like your blue and your gold ribbon. I like your different colored ornaments. You've got a little bit of green, got a red. You've kind of, uh, it's not all red and green. You've kind of mixed it up a little bit, which is, is nice to see um, some variety to it. So very good job very colorful christmas very sparkly christmas for you thank you for sending that in all right i just was talking about it and we have our new colorist of the month which is pam lindley and this is a uh a picture and i'm gonna wait for it to there it is there. pam lindley congratulations you are the colorist of the month that means that we get to see four of your pictures, one each week. Two Pam chose and two I will choose. I have yet to do that. I'm behind on a lot of things, my laundry included, but um, I'm behind. I have not picked Pam's other two pictures. I know it's going to be difficult because Pam does a great job with her pictures, but she is the colorist of the month. So congratulations, Pam love this Native American spirit picture here we got in front of us right now. I don't even know where to begin on this picture. Um, it's gorgeous. You did a great job. The softness of the feathers is, you can see, they're soft. They look soft. The shine in her hair, the highlights, you can see that. That's really good. And then, and Amber was talking about this, the way you did the background. 
it stands out. It's so bold, but yet you kept enough white in there the middle. that makes everything pop. So you did an excellent job here, Pam. This is, uh, you can see, definitely see that Pam takes, uh, she really enjoys her coloring because you can see it in the picture. So, and we, I want to switch back to us for a little bit. So all month long, Pam, gonna wait for it to show here. Color it, uh, Facebook is so slow. I just hate the lag. Come on, change. There we are. Okay, so Pam Lindsay, you are colorist of the month. Congratulations. This is gonna be up in my kitchen all month. So every day I'm gonna thank Pam Lindley for being a colorist of the month. Now, the colorist of the month is my baby. It's something that I worked on. I wanted to celebrate um, people who are really active in the color it community. And Pam is one of those people. Um, I asked her before the show, and we will talk to her at some point, um, and we'll ask her more questions. But I asked her a couple questions before the show. Um, one of the questions was, how many pictures does she average a week? And she's got me beat. Four to five pictures a week. So that's that's really good. That is a, um, a determined colorist. I know some people do a lot more than that even. I don't know how you guys do it. I can barely finish two or one. I haven't colored in three weeks, guys. I'm going through withdrawals. Withdrawals. I, but it don't work for me. This, this, I do anything with this hand, and it starts to ache. So I miss my coloring, but I live vicariously through you guys. So all your coloring, I watch it. I try to get on Facebook. I haven't, you know, been on it as much as I usually am, but I do watch. Okay, so let's talk about my baby first. You know what? We need to get to coloring because Amber is new to uh, this whole color it thing. So we are gonna watch her do some coloring. Did well, we get a third? oh, we do have a third winner. So let's announce that first. Third winner tonight for the cats, kittens, and wild cats book is Denise Delaire. Denise Delaire, congratulations! You are our third winner on Color It Live. Send an email to support at colorit.com. Give them your address and your phone number so that they can get you the cat book, the cats, kittens, and wild cats book that we're coloring out of. Okay, we are going to uh, run a little late tonight, so I want to apologize, but I want to, I, it's, it's been, what, two, three weeks? I've missed you guys. I have a lot to tell you, so hopefully you can stick around, but I'm going to switch over with my bad hand. And Amber has started to color tonight. This picture is a freebie Friday. If you do not have it, um, you can type in this URL. It's colorit.com slash high cats. Now that's not high as in they're high above. It's like high hello. So H-I-C-A-T-S. So, and I'm sure that uh, either Leah or Lorraine will put that link on there for us for anybody who does not have this picture. So, Amber is coloring. This is the first time she is coloring with um, the original gel pens. And I uh, wanted to talk to her. Uh, I, she, I did give her a Colors of the Decade book and a set of the uh, colored pencils and we were discussing the different things that she liked about it. Hi Deanna Mulder love, glad you could make it. All right, so um, Amber, what are some of the things that you noticed about the book? It's the books themselves. Uh, I really love the thickness of the paper. It's a real good quality paper. Um, I like the binding. You can easily move to the next picture. Um, it's got very nice, bold lines to color in and just great variety of pictures. Yep, and the, the binding, one really cool thing about the binding, it's good for left-handers or right, right, you know, righties or lefties. So that's really good. Yes, Amber at this time is only going to use gel pens. I don't know if we'll finish it that way. 
um, Nyla just tempted me to color the cat's eyes red. <laughs> I would like to see that, actually. That would be kind of cool. All right, so yes, she is using the regular gel pens. Um, Sparkly. She, yeah, first thing she notices, um, they, she's using the ones, not all, now the original ones, they don't all have glitter in them. There's glitter, metallic, and neon. And she looks like, it looks like she's using two of the glitter ones today. Mm. Um, can you read the colors on them? The teal it's, is actually a green, energetic green. Okay, so she's using energetic green right now. And, and the purple she chose is purple joy. Purple joy, which happens to be like my favorite purple in this group of purples so I'm not surprised at all that she chose it because <laughs> we are so like-minded you guys have no idea uh, how similar we are and especially when it comes to colors okay so while she's coloring um, I'm gonna give her a little time to get used to um, the gel pens and then she'll tell us what she likes about them um, I want to go back to the colorist of the month Pam Lindy all right I talked to her she does four or five pictures a week fantastic she's really dedicated and she sends them in she's very active in the group which is a thing that I noticed um, I'm pretty sure she's on color it live here with us every week which is great I noticed that and not only does she uh, you know show up every Wednesday but she participates in chat which I love guys I love it when it takes me an hour after the show is over, sometimes it'll take me up to an, an hour to respond to all of your comments. That's making me work, and that is awesome. I love that. I love it when it takes me that long, because that means that you guys are talking, chatting, and enjoying yourselves, and that is exactly what I want to see in the group chat. I want to see you guys talking to each other. I may be the one doing the actual talking or yapping, one thing that I'm very good at and sometimes can do too much of uh, as we see because we're going to go over tonight but um, I love that you guys participate in chat and that is one of the things I look for um, I know that you guys can't be here every week I get that that's understandable um, so I'm going to discuss other ways that you can become colorist of the month but we have our last winner so I'm going to just switch over here real quick. Amber's going to keep coloring. Um, yapping. I know. That's what I do, Kathy. I'm a yapper. My lips just keep flapping, flapping away. Okay, so our fourth and final winner for tonight is, and I have seen this uh, person in group, so she is an active member, is Don Montoy. So congratulations, Don Montoy. You are our fourth and final winner for tonight. You just won the book that Amber is coloring in, Cats, Kittens, and Wild Cats. So send an email to support at colorit.com. Let them know that you are a Color It Live winner. Send your email and your address so that they can get you that book right away. And I can't wait to see all of your wild cats and your kittens and Shirley's kitten with the red eyes. Can't wait to see that. All right, so back to my colorist of the month, Pam. I asked her if she has ever had art classes and uh, she has not. She This is a natural talent of hers, but she did mention that she wasn't really into coloring until she started coloring. Uh, she found the love of coloring with her mom. So um, her mom got her into coloring. So that is something I'm very thankful for. Um, that will be something that I think that we will discuss further on throughout the next uh, three to four weeks. Um, but I'm so glad that um, she was able to find this love of coloring with, with her mother. I think that's very special. Um, that's a special connection. I know that me and Amber, that was one thing that we always were able to do. I mean, we would sit in silence and color. It didn't matter. We just, we love to color. So, um, anyway, I'm so thankful to Pam's mother for um, getting her into coloring. And I'm thankful that Pam is an active member of Color It Live and of Color It in the group. So, um, those 
are some ways that you be, can become colorist of the month. Um, another thing that I look for is do you participate in the weekly challenges that Nicole works so hard on? Um, I look for that. Do you post your work? Um, do you know? Do I see your work on Color It, whether it be Color It on Facebook or even the group? So there's plenty of things that I look for. I don't just look for Color It live people, even though that is that I'm, I'm going to be honest, that is a pretty big thing for me. But it's not the only thing because if you can't be here on Wednesday, watch it afterward. Put a little note in the comments saying, hey, I watched this video and that will make me so happy, guys. Um, just to know that even though you're not with us on Wednesday, that you're watching it later and that you're, you're getting to see everybody's, because people work really hard on their pictures. And I know what it feels like to see your name on the screen and have it read aloud. That pride that you feel when you see your name picture and picture up on the screen, it, it, it means a lot. It meant a lot to me, to me when I was a just, you know, when I didn't, wasn't a color at team member, but I was just a fan. When AJ and Erica read my name, it made me feel so much pride. And um, that is why I have created the colorist of the month um, because I, I just want to celebrate that more. I want to celebrate how faithful you guys are to color it and how you guys, you know, you put so much heart into your work. And I see that and I notice that. And you guys, you know, you're so kind. I mean, right now we are sending prayers for a safe surgery to Kathy. Um, so that's what we do. You know, we're family and we're here to support uh, we're here to support each other. You guys were supportive of me and uh, I hope that anybody who needs support can find that in the group. So Amber is uh, continuing to color. What do you think of those gel pens? I love them. They just, they're so smooth. They go on so well. It's almost like paint, but not. I mean, it's more controlled than... Oh yeah, I, I, I'm terrible with paint. This is like coloring with silk coloring with silk excellent way excellent way to describe that i love that and i i didn't give her a script guys so she's just telling you how it feels brand new color it fan she's i think i've sold her what do you guys think i think <laughs> she is now a color it member she better be anyway <laughs> <laughs> all right so okay we have discussed the colors of the month pam lindley um please pam send an email to color it let them know um, that you are my chosen colorist of the month and you will get a 40 percent discount on anything in the site for four whole weeks also okay. and robin i promise your gift is picked out um, i pick out a special gift i go whether it's to a craft store or, you know, if I see something and I think, oh, that's Robin. I pick, I picked it out. I have it. It's on my table here right in front of me. Um, I just have not sent it yet. But Robin, your gift is chosen and um, it'll be sent to you and I hope you like it. And I'm going to do the same for Pam. I'm going to find, and it's nothing expensive, you know, nothing huge, you know, I, I don't work especially now because of my surgery, I don't work. So um, it's nothing big, but just something special to, as my way of saying, thank you for being a Color It fan and a Color It Live fan. So, um, but that is another thing that the colorist of the month will get a special, um, a special little gift from me and um, the 40% discount, which, hey, 40%, that's nice. So. That's amazing. Okay, so how can you win other things from Color It? Besides being here every Wednesday night, there's you, there's four chances right there. Uh, you could win by coming here and watching us every night. Listen to me uh, yap 
So, and Mary Kate said that yapping is perfectly fine. So I have her blessing. So <laughs> I'm going to yap away. All right. Other ways that you can win here on Color It Live or on, you know, just any day is a uh, fan of the month. Okay. Fan of the month is totally different from the colorist of the month. This is done by Color It itself. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to color a picture and this time it has to be done in fall colors. Um, we are ready. I am ready for fall. I am ready for the cool nights and hoodies and you know marshmallows roasted over a fire. I am a fall person. So what you need to do is you can color any color picture fall colors and you're going to upload that to colorit.com slash contest. So you can't email it, you have to upload it onto their site. So colorit.com slash contest. Okay, any book, any color it page, but it has to be done in fall colors. Six winners will be chosen at the end of the month. Three will be chosen randomly, and the other three will be chosen by color it staff themselves. And you will win a gift card to color it. So that's a really good prize. All right, another way that you can win is the monthly giveaway. And this week, and I don't have the book, it's the Colorful Scriptures Colorful, ah, Colorful Scriptures Coloring Book. If you do not have this book, I promise you, you want it. I want it. I just haven't had a chance to get it yet. But you guys will have a chance to win that this month. It's a beautiful book. Scriptures with pictures that go along with it and it's an amazing book so you're gonna if you win it you're gonna love it but this is how you can win it go to colorit.com slash giveaway and the winners for those will be announced weekly on social media so um again go to colorit.com slash giveaway um there's multiple ways to increase your chances of winning if you go there you'll find that out um so if you want that chance to win that that beautiful colorful scriptures it's an awesome book it's really cool um you guys will like it so color it.com slash giveaway so plenty of ways to win either by being here every wednesday fan of the month monthly giveaway and of course my little baby colorist of the month and uh pam and robin have been the ones that uh have so far won that so Okay, we didn't get a chance to get to trivia this week. Um, I apologize. I do have um, some trivia from Sandy McDade and Kathy Bartoskic. I will make sure I get to those next week. I want to make sure that um, that you your your trivia or your joke gets its proper uh, amount of time on Color It Live. I didn't get a chance to get to that, so. Um, because I am heavily medicated <laughs> and I had a lot to catch up on because I've been gone for weeks. So, um, if you have uh, any trivia, please, uh, send it to me or send it to color it and then they will give it to me. Um, if you have, you know, poems, anything that you want to share, um, you know, let me know. And I, you know, like to this today miracle told me that um her daughter faith was going to be joining the color at family so um i wanted she, she shared that with me and i wanted to, to share it with you guys so that you guys could uh congratulate her or to welcome faith into the group so faith campbell will be joining the color at family soon all right um make sure that if you upload your pictures to any kind of social media Make sure that you hashtag it my color it because when you do then color it gets notified so uh, make sure every time anywhere if you post it whether you post it on the color it's page the color it group or there's other color groups besides color it um, I'm a part of quite a few color coloring groups um, anytime you post it on any type of social media, put hashtag my color it so that color it is notified and that way we can all see it. So, um, please remember to do that. So I think we are wrapping up here. Amber is doing a beautiful job. What is that yellow that you're using? 
the it's happy yellow which is a very fitting color because when I started using it I felt very happy yes so I love their names to their their colors they they just didn't name them purple or yellow they were very insightful into their colors so Amber's doing a beautiful job here she is like we said brand new to color it um, she has the pencils what do you think about the uh, the pencils that you've been coloring with before today um, I really love the pencils I love the variety of the shades of every color they're a very smooth pencil to color with I really I really enjoyed them yeah they really go really they go on to uh, the paper really well um, these are artist quality mark markers and pens and pencils that you know may seem like if you're new to coloring when you see you know some of the prices you're like whoa you know that's kind of expensive but I'm telling you these are artist quality they're not the most expensive they're not the cheapest but they're right there in a comfortable middle and um, I especially I, my favorite I have to say are gel pens followed closely by the markers but the pencils I, I also enjoy really well so Thank you guys for um, being here with me tonight. Thank you, Donna, Audrey. Mary Kate says she's going to have a joke for me next week. Okay, you guys saw that in writing. So now she has to do it. So you guys are my witnesses. Jennifer's like, aw, you're wrapping up. Yes, I am. And you guys, I'm telling you, I almost, I almost canceled tonight. I really did. I, you can ask Amber. I was not feeling great and I just I almost canceled but I told her if I do it and I told Jennifer this if I do it I'll I'll be glad that I did and she made the joke that it was like a, going to the gym <laughs> and it's so right sometimes it's hard to get there but once you do it you're glad this is way more fun yeah this is way more fun than the gym though I'm gonna say that but sometimes I can get a little you know too much in my head and sometimes it can feel that uh all right, okay, I, Leah just sent me a message and she wanted to clarify something about the colors of the month. Okay, I said 40% off, but apparently it's 20% uh, off. I'm sorry, I honestly thought it was, was 40. It's 20% off. I don't know where I got 40, guys. I'm, uh, I tell you what, it's, I'm gonna blame the medication because, you know, Yep. Okay, I apologize. It's 20% off, which is still really, really good. Still a really good, because these are good, these are really good products. And so 20% off, that's that's a big deal. I'm really sorry. I messed that one up. Got everybody excited, but 20% is really good. And you get to be, you know, you get your work is shown each week, and uh, you get a small gift from me as well. So... Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Suzanne. Everyone's saying that I did okay. Yep, pain meds. You know, I'm I'm trying to. I only try to use them at night because that's when it hurts the most. But um, I, I try not to use them during the day. So it's kind of. I think by the time I, at night I'm tired and it just ever I feel everything. So um, Suzanne is thanking Amber for coming. Aww. And Jonathan is, says, great job. And Amber said, great job, Amber, and hope you're doing better, Nyla. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. All right, guys. I I could talk all night because once I get started, it's like an engine. You know, I just keep going. So I'm going to transition back to us. Hey, Liz Morris, my niece is on. Hi, Liz. Hey, Liz. Amber's here. <laughs> we know. That's my niece, Liz Morris. All right, guys. So, again, I want to thank you for tuning in tonight. Thank you for uh, forgiving all of my little things that I do wrong and say wrong. And, again, I want to thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for putting your submissions in. Um, I love to see all your work. I love to see how creative you guys are and you guys are truly creative. The things that you guys come up with blows my mind. I'm like, I see a picture that I've already done 
and then you do it and I'm like why didn't I think of that that's way better so and that's why we have color it live so that we can share your creativity so we can celebrate you the fans you guys are the ones that are doing all the hard work that are posting your pictures that are coloring it that are putting your heart and yourself into each picture and that is what we celebrate here on color it live so have a great week and make sure that you bring out your creativity as much as possible so have a creative week and good night from nyla and amber